But I don't. But but it worked out. So I wonder yeah. if Jarvin has like done some research, maybe, and like like maybe they go to this because it's like cats. a really really weird place to be. Well, for for an ev- for an, for a level one invade, if you're on purple side, if you want to go for that blue, it's not all too uncommon to actually edge on through, go over through top river oh, down, true. hug the wall, and actually go on down. Because if you engage on the blue from that angle, you trap them in. There's really very few escape paths for when you approach the blue from that angle. And, you know, it's it's something a lot of teams do. And at the very least, you know, shows that Jarvan, they've done a little bit of research here. They know the common invade paths coming from Marn. And at the very least, they managed to put that on their cap. It's yeah. just the rest, the rest of the game from that point on mm-hmm. just fell off. Yeah. And uh, Marn, Team Marn doing a little bit of BM, a little bad manners here, banning Jarvan before Jarvan could do wow. it. <laughs> So Damn. man, just manner up, okay? Just manner <laughs> up. I do like a, I do like the Shivana ban. Yeah. Uh, you know, Stink is also the All Star ban. Marn banned it out last time. Now Jarvin's gonna go ahead and keep him out. He's a fantastic, fantastic support. And just for safety, just for safety, remember, Diana is now alive. Yeah. Not quite sure. And that's that's the danger too about when champs come out. You know, champs come out. You know, the first few days if tournaments are being run, you're not quite sure where to go with them. So play it safe, ban him out. You could have another Zyra on your hands, which, by the way, there was a hot fix today. Yeah, she got nerfed. She got, well, she got adjusted. <laughs> <laughs> she got adjusted. She got nerf swatted, man. Yeah, <laughs> less damage, uh, less movement speed, uh, well, less uh, less range on the ult. Penis. Yeah, less range on the <laughs> ult. So there's yeah there's a lot of stuff that happened to a lot of parts of Zyra's kit, but that's the thing though is that when you have a champ so far ahead, when you have a champ that sees just you have such a huge innate win rate across all skill levels, yeah, you know something is wrong. Yeah. So yeah, something was wrong. Then you know the necessary uh, necessary measures had to be taken. You had to get you know some of those uh, uh you know you had, you had to get those shears. You had, to trim, you had to trim down a little bit. It's like you know what? It's it's now now she's. But when you trim down, it grows back even more full. So that's a bad analogy. Well, here's yeah. the, well, hey, well. <laughs> then in a few months, we'll probably Maybe. see her coming back. Hey, it happened with Aurelia. It did. She, I don't she, think... saw, she saw no play for her for after her nerfs for like two months. I think Zyra is still really good. She is. Yeah, I mean it's. Her damage is a little bit reduced, but yeah, she's still going to be really good. Her she has really strong utility. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, they didn't pick her, so we can stop talking about her. But Nautilus, not and yet. <laughs> Nautilus in the Wu Kong yeah. there. I like it. Um, so I mean, Cho'Gath was the first pick, so I like um, I like some Cho'Gath. Um, Cho'Gath's good. I don't know what's going on with this situation. So, though. Um, if they stick with well, these here, well, three here, picks, well, here's the thing. Uh, if if that Wu Kong is locked in, it may very well be Cho mid. Along with the uh, Nautilus in the jungle, though, because Nautilus doesn't really perform all too well anywhere else. Nautilus well, support. Not. Uh, Are they getting trolly with the picks now? I hope that's, not. That's the question. Well, they, well, if they have Nautilus in the jungle, if they get Blitz down bot support lane again, I mean, we could, we could, we could be taking a nice little trip to Hook City once again. We could. I, I love me some Hook City. Hook City's good. Hook City's yeah. a great place to be. Great place for a vacation, but not a family vacation if you catch my drift. <laughs> Oh, because of the hookers. Oh, well, but Blitz, Crank, and Nautilus. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Them. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. So. Okay. We'll see if you're right about that. Cho mid. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna gonna go out on a limb and say Nautilus support because I like to be. Uh, I like to be that guy who disagrees you're, with everyone. You're, so you're that guy. I'm that guy. You're that guy who disagrees with everyone and says that Martin's terrible. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. He's garbage. It's pure garbage. I hope he's listening. To the stream, have words afterwards. I love you, Marn. Marn, you're <laughs> no. Marn, you are no. you are the jolliest. No. Marn is the jolliest. You're pretty jolly, man. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fairly jolly guy. Yeah. Marn's Marn is significantly more jolly than I though. Oh, is he? Yes he is. Okay. I'll have to take your word for that. And I mean, then and then and then well that's that's the thing. Like like I'm like I'm like D tier jolly. Marn is like B tier, then Scar is like A S tier. Ah. There you go. Or Santa Claus. Well, Double S, God tier. Well, <laughs> I'd, I'd say a few things, but there may be children watching. <laughs> oh. So I don't want to ruin the dream. Well, we already made the hookers joke, so. No, that's also true. Right well, along. Well, that's, well, that's, well, that's what Blitz and Nautilus do. Yeah, they do. They're they're the hookers. They, they and they are. We're done with this. Okay. We're, done. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving along. So Riven and Morgana, I like Riven. Riven hasn't played a whole lot these days, but uh, okay, so this team is getting weird, man. Look at this. I'm telling you, it's Nautilus support. 
with ex exhaust. Uh, yeah, this is maybe. I don't know. This is getting a little weird. <laughs> it could be. Uh, nope, I have no idea. Well, I have I have seen Marn play quite a bit of Fizz. Okay. His Fizz is very dangerous. It's a well, very is, dangerous thing. Fizz, fizz is kind of like a volatile champion. He yeah, is. Like, just real, like, bursted down really quick, and then has to sit around for, like, a really long time waiting for those cooldowns. So very cooldown dependent. And uh, but uh, and I always like to bring this up. Baron says that there's a special place in hell for people that play Fizz in solo queue. I'm, so. I'm going to let you take it. Take all of that one, because <laughs> I know exactly where you're going to go with that. So, what are we looking at here? Um, look AP Janna? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it has to be, what? Nope, I, I don't even want to speculate, because I'm just going to be that off. I don't even I don't even Ooh, know. I don't trundle. even know, but uh, that's the thing, though. Trundle can actually work very well here, because you have pretty much an all-melee team coming in here from Team Marn, and uh, what Trundle does best is disrupt melee champs with that pillar. It's a very nice splitting tool. It's a very nice slow for someone that's gonna, for a team that's going to be all clumped up. Yeah. So they got that going for him. Plus, also you have Morgana for that counter initiation. Mm -hmm. That's going to be that's going to be fantastic here. And Riven. Yeah. The thing about Trundle is though, it takes really really good team coordination to use like mm -hmm. that that team that pillar to its maximum effectiveness. So hopefully we can see some of that really good. Uh, Really good team coordination to make Trundle, you know, as useful as he can be. And it looks like that Team Marn is not switching around at all. Yeah, so, so Wu, Wukong, Janna, Bot, Nautilus, Top. Is that who? I yeah. I think so. I think that's what we're going to see here. Okay. That's, I could yeah. see, I could see uh, Wukong with some Janna shield doing some damage. That could be pretty cool. I'm... Okay, that's what I yeah. yeah I don't know I'm like in kind of a loss but you know they like to <laughs> they like to play unconventional they, they teams. like to play unconventional stuff they like to entertain they like to be really aggressive yes yes um, they do Wukong can be pretty aggressive but and safe you know with that with that uh whatever that skill is where he goes invisible <laughs> and the ult yeah no no not the ult <laughs> oh the, oh, the, the ult's a spin isn't it the ult's the yeah. spin yeah you're, you're you're talking about his uh, decoy yeah yeah the decoy right yeah so yeah the, the decoy so you can get out pretty quick and. I mean, if they're going to play as aggressive as they did last game, the decoy is going to be invaluable to them uh, mm -hmm. being able to get out of there. And so. I think um, Black is going to have to be very careful too, because he was he was a little bit um, he's a little bit off focus last game. Was not quite with the team. Yeah. And that's the thing too is that those stuns that's like the primary tool that Jarvin's bot lane has in order to get their aggression on. And I think. Barnes mentality is like, well, we'll just decoy and you know force out all of the stuns coming on in, working very much like a like a Sivir spell shield would, mm -hmm. except they're just taking the the more uh, the more trolley route. You know, oh man, you stunned a decoy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. the pr proceed from there. Yeah, uh, Mar Team Martin has a lot of CC as well. They have mm -hmm. like the knock up from Cho'Gath. They have the knock up from. Wukong, they have the grab and everything that comes with all this. It's just crazy. And, Mar and Martin is just pure damage. Yeah, well, he has the fish. He does have the fish. The fish of fury. The shark. And then, of course, Janna has a couple CCs as well. So very, I mean, the, a lot of CC action going on there. Yeah. So uh, we'll see, I mean, pretty good in team fights. I mean, they're decently tanky as well. Mm -hmm. The issue really is Marin, see how fast he's going to get bursted down because that's kind of like the good thing and the bad thing about Fizz is, you know, he does a lot of damage and gets there, gets in there and just destroys people but cooldown dependent and he gets burned down really quick and so yeah. you have to get in and you have to get out which you know sometimes is easy with with his toolkit um but not always the easiest thing so yeah. we'll see how that works out for for marn if if last stand of jarvin can a survive the lading phase and b focus down marn immediately in these team fights yeah they got a pretty good shot because their team comp is perfect against what Marn is bringing to the table. They have so much counter initiation. Yeah. They have the perfect, you know, they have the perfect characters to help clean up after these fights. You got Trundle with that disruption and Riven. That's just that's just what she does. Yeah. Like she has a fantastic kit to go ahead and pick up all of the loose ends if someone just happens to make it out of a fight just barely. No. Get those cues going down. I'll hit you with my ult. It's a done deal. And just Morgana with that counter initiation could be amazing. And even then if she just gets a godlike bind onto somebody. Yeah. That could be absolutely huge. But like I said, 
they have to make it past the laning phase first. Game one, they were not able to do that. We'll see what they can do here. Yeah, I, I would say that Jarvan is probably not as strong of a, a laning team. Um, you yeah. know, so I'm, I think a lot of that is rooted in the fact that they, they're, they, they're not the best at farming yet. I say yet because I have a lot of faith in them in the coming months. But mm -hmm. Mara is pretty good, uh, good, pretty good farming. So if that's the case, and they, they really need to play aggressive, Jarvan does. They need to get in there and try to do damage to champions and rely on champion kills and roaming and, and strong jungling. Yeah. Um, because otherwise they're just going to get really, you know, outlaned because of the farm. So we'll see how Last Stand of Jarvan handles that if they're going to go really aggressive. And I, I mean, they have a decent team comp for that. They have Morgana who can do that bind and and do a lot of damage. And you have um, who else? If Riven does tons of damage too, and Trundle with pretty strong ganks. Uh, Trundle doesn't do a lot of damage early on. You know, I mean, it's, it comes with his ultimate, but that right. pillar really helps with um, with the. Uh, with the, the strong ganking and yeah, the team the fights. Yeah, the, yeah. Team, the team fights, it's a huge, huge tool. Yeah. Plus, also remember, game one, last game of Jarvan, they did have the Maokai. It was a little bit slow going following the one yeah. the, the level one fight, though. But that's one of the big strengths of Trundle, though, is that he's got a pretty, pretty good clear time just on his own. Yeah. So you now you got Lack there with the ward at his own blue. And you do see that, uh, once again, Team Marn, they're going in for that invade. But the uh, last stand, they're not going to tolerate it. <laughs> actually, they may actually very well just uh, hide out in the Dragon Pit then see uh, Marn actually come out back around, and they do see them there. Nice. I like they that ward see. placement. That's pretty good, yep. and uh, allows them to keep a good idea or have a good idea of what's going on. You know, close yep. their blue. It looks like Marn is in a position where they're going to want to take that blue. And uh, oh, and they're sneaking Hyfe, out here. Oh, Hyfe's in a little bit of trouble Riven. here, though. Oh, oh flash over. over got really scared. That's I, the thing, though. It, oh, they saw are him. they baiting him in? I think they. Saw I think him. they're baiting them in. <laughs> this is some high level stuff here. You got Riven actually baiting on through, but they're they're oh, apprehensive. Think, yeah, <laughs> they're apprehensive. Like, dude, are we oh, being baited? Mine. Oh, Kratos actually poking on out. The plan has been blown. Oh man. Oh, that you saw it. They're thinking about it. Oh, Mike nice. actually going down on the Martin. You got the hook in response here from Tom again. You got Riven out in front, but will go down first. There is the first one going down onto the Jana. You do the Ignite actually going down onto Trundle. He should be able to get out of there, but the rupture coming in. Kratos gonna be popped up. Back oh. going down. They they had that. They almost had them baited in. They almost got it. Yeah, it looks like Trundle kind of uh, uh, that's a really interesting place out. But Trundle kind of poked out a little bit in there and kind of gave away a little bit of position. And then Morgana was got a little antsy, wanted to hit that bind, and now yeah. just bad situation. Clickety's gonna try to do this. Maybe yeah, they're gonna be able to close in on him, and try to get this blue back. Stun coming on in. Clicky D he will be blocked with the bind a little bit too <laughs> too hasty there from Kratos. But Clicky D is actually going down pretty quick as a matter of can they catch up if you didn't use both of your binds you could have actually used them both there but uh, unfortunately they were both on cooldown you know not to get the kill but trundle does secure now his own blue yeah so that's going to put him in a, in a pretty good position he's he's not the fastest clear but he's pretty dang fast he's really, because yeah. of his auto attack refresh and i think that's his q and so he can go pretty quick and yes. uh yeah and he's and, just and, and he's and such a great soloist like uh is that the right word he's such a great one on one champion duel dueler. yeah duelist yeah. yeah so he's a really good duelist especially with that ultimate i don't he doesn't lose much 1v1s at all actually now that i think about it so it's just he just needs to be you know at, at, a, at an equal footing in terms of level of experience yeah, you find yeah equal footing and level 6 like so yeah. you can use that ultimate so he uh yeah I'm excited to see how Trundle does, and uh, looks yeah. like he backed already to so just go get is, some more health. So it's actually a Nautilus Janna bot lane. This is a little silly. This is definitely is it, a little silly. I mean, I've, I've heard about AD Janna, and I, 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 if, <laughs> if Baron was here, he would go on a long rant about how 10 years ago AD Janna was awesome, because <laughs> I think he has one of those stories in his in his wallet. But, uh, yeah, he'd, he'd talk about it, and AD Janna with that shield can just do a lot of poke damage, and... Uh, and, you know, it may be, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be AD, but she's also quite the AP champion as well. The scaling is pretty oh, crazy on her Oh, fantastic scaling. Yeah, Wonderful just crazy scaling. scaling. Of course, you have to hit with that full whirlwind for that to happen. Um, yeah. So. But when you do, though, it's it's immense. It's like, It's, pretty it's, decent, a, it's like a yeah. point, yeah, I mean, it got, you know, point eight, I think, like 80% ratio on the AP, it appears, and that is just... Huge and it has for pretty, any skill. Yeah, it is, and I think it has pretty high base damage too. When it hits, when you hit with the full Q. So yeah, um, you gotta let it rev up first. Yeah, you there. gotta let it rev up. So that's the trick as well. So we'll see if it's able to do that. And yeah, just looks like 
uh, just poking them down, and Janna's pretty good at that. And the Nautilus hook's going to be uh, also quite annoying in that bot lane. But I was right. Support Nautilus. Just want to throw it out there. <laughs> I called it. All right. You, got, you, you, get, that, you get that one. <laughs> you get that one. Uh, bot, and me on the top lane, you have Mega Zero doubling up on the cloth armor, actually, returning back to the top lane uh, versus high FA. It's, it's not... It's not too uncommon versus an AP in top lane to double up on like a null magic mantle, but to double up on the cloth armor, you're you're there, you're dedicated. You want to you want to survive. You want to stick up there as long as you can. And Riven is definitely capable of a boatload of damage. Yeah, Riven does a lot of early game damage too, and uh, you, I, you don't really see Wukong come into fruition until he gets his ultimate. So mm -hmm. he's got to kind of hang tight and wait in lane. Um, until you can get that ultimate going, so which will come, you know, pretty dang yeah. soon here, and we'll see uh, Wukong be able to turn and just have, do some damage on Riven, especially with those two cloth armors. He's going to be pretty tanky. You see the Polar Machine sitting on up for this gank here on Marn, but it does manage to strike on <laughs> right through to him. Nice. The tranquils again, but here comes the Pillar of Filth. Marn is a little bit trapped here, but no, he will manage to make it out just fine. Mega Zero and Haifei looking to duel, but uh, Haifei up to those tricks will not fall for that decoy. Just decides to back off a little bit. Black trying to get whatever stunts he can. Along there with back there in the, pot, in the bot lane, they've been pushed to tower the entire game. But uh, still though, Clicky D now making his appearance known in the top lane. Gets a rupture down in the Riven, get a little bit extra damage, but Riven should be just fine. You do have that shatter also coming from Black. But all the, the, every, every time the Whirlwind comes down, it's seeming to hit back every single time. Yeah, they're going to need some help from Trundle here pretty quick because of how aggressive they're playing. And yeah. <clears throat> with the CC and the shield, she can, Janet can continue to poke. And that shield gives you just a ton of additional damage, So yeah. especially in the early game. So, um, you know, I, it's going to be scary for them. They have to be really careful, but they're going to they're gonna try to stay under tower and try to farm. But it, it, that's a really difficult thing to do against Nautilus. And now Ezreal getting just burned oh. down in that Ignite is going to take his life. That, well, at the very least, though, back will be at, he will be at base. He will yeah. be able to come back down. But that's the thing. If Trundle did actually decide to actually come down and help with that lane, he wouldn't have been able to really follow up with any gank attempts because he was kept so low on health the entire time. So he, he didn't really have a whole lot going yeah. for him in the time being. But now, at the very least, you know, Machine can actually come on down, throw up the pillar, actually try and make something happen. Granted, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of seas there's a lot of uh, escapability there on that bot lane, but I don't know. Trundle Pillar could definitely cancel out a good chunk of it, not all of it, but a few uh, a few well placed uh, jukes yeah. could actually you know, really pay off. And the uh, last stand may actually make something happen in bot still. Yeah, uh, and, and actually we're seeing <clears throat> bot lane just getting really really out farmed again. Janus yeah. 45 to Ezreal's 21 at this point. And you know, farming under the turret is like a really difficult thing to do, especially when you when you have to be so careful as to not get grabbed by Nautilus. Um, so um, it's going to be difficult for them. And Janna, you know, just with that AD with that shield is going to be doing a lot of damage to them. I think now you know hit six. So both of our top laners they have those ultimates available. And you were talking a little bit too about the ult from Wukong. Yeah, Rivens is pretty good too. That's true. Yeah. It does. <laughs> A lot of damage. Oh, that was like max nice range. Nice hook coming in from Atomic End down onto Ezreal. You get that nice harass, get that tornado down. Very well done. And uh, Kratos there with the blue buff. Going to be returning into mid to try and uh, still push back Marn, who's just you know auto attacking the minions like without a care in the world. He just <laughs> wants to push. He yeah. wants to push. He wants to get aggressive. He's still looking for kills. But you'll see he's actually transitioning here up tier to top lane because Pulse Machine may actually be very well be caught out here. Oh. Here comes the shark. There's the lobster and Earth coming <laughs> up from the ground. Marn grabbing that one. Nice pick off. And uh, high phase just there a little bit too late. Marn, oh, oh, nice wait. Tricks. Nice wait. Yeah. Very well done. And also blowing the uh, the Wukong ult. But still, the high phase, can uh, you actually still get away from this? I don't think it's, it's going to happen. Real close. No, no, there's the ignite. I mean, those by real close, down. I mean not close at all. So Th those, those, I mean, up until then, that was that was really good. Just chilling in the bush, yeah. waiting, expecting Marn to actually go over with the uh, the the uh, playful trickster. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. That cool. was pretty good. Yeah, that was, that was good. good. Um, yeah, I I'm really surprised actually by the difference in farm in mid lane. Morgana 42 to to Fizz 58. That was a lot you know bigger as of like one minute ago before Fizz went to uh, the, their opponent jungle. But I mean, Fizz is a champion that has to get in to last hit. You know, and Morgana is amazing at poking like can yeah. just poke down with the bind and and do the pool and just do a lot of damage but fizz somehow just 
you know, beefing her out of lane and just farming really, really well. Wait, Morgana, Morgana's, Morgana's a very passive laner. Yeah. She just sits back, pull, 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 pull. You want to come to pool? <laughs> yeah. Hey, everyone, get in the pool. Pool, minions. <laughs> pool everyone, party. Pool, pool party. Yeah. That's, that's... That's that's pretty much Morgana's farm. Yeah, no, that's that pretty accurate. Viz, oh. oh, Echo getting hugely chunked out there and taking actually a few free turret shots. Trundle, where you, you got to be down bot lane. That's where the party is. <laughs> that could definitely be something there. Yeah, but, I haven't, uh, haven't yeah. seen a lot of ganks out of Trundle yet. Uh, yeah, he's been, he's been more reflexive, uh, really, if anything. He had that one attempt down there in mid, but uh, didn't quite uh, amount to a whole lot. But you know, Clicky D, though, remember, Clicky D was set up a little bit behind with that failed uh, failed steal on the early blue. So, so he's been he's been playing a fair amount of catch up himself, but he's doing okay. He's got his double buff, and uh, in terms of gold, though, has now actually edged out uh, Polish Machine here. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, ahead on farm, not not too much, and uh, yeah, Trundle's just kind of sticking in farming too. So I I like the the farming style. Uh, that's my preferred style, especially when you're playing catch up. Um, it's so much. It's such so greedy and so risky to get into lane and try to do ganks because if you don't, they don't oh. work out. You get far behind. Here comes the attempt on the Mega Zero, waiting for the pillar. There goes the slow, but here comes the decoy gonna be flying away, and Mega Zero just getting out of that one. Lickety split. No, uh, no, uh, nothing really uh, to do there. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's, and that's and it. Wukong that's is still in pretty good position because so yeah. that took a lot of time for Trundle to go out and do that. So he's gonna be a little bit farther behind as Cho'Gath continues to farm. But uh, Mega Zero is in a really good position, two level lead, um, and and the you know the ultimate is up, so you know you can turn on Riven anytime and do a bunch of damage. Meanwhile, bot lane Janna just chunking and uh, doing what Janna does. Yep, and yeah, that's the that's the worry here from Team Martin as well is that uh, we saw from game one, they oh, love no. to dive, they love to get aggressive. There's the, the hold and the hook down onto back here in the bot lane. Not a whole lot left to be said. Echo going to be grabbing that kill. Earth making an appearance once again here in the top lane. Martin traveling up here from mid. Wants to get the damage on the high fade. The playful trickster. That second hit actually it? not going to land, but uh, the ignite should be enough. Get out of the tower rage. No! Oh, nice! Goodbye. There you go. If you're going to go down, at least take someone with you. And no assist on that one from Team Martin, actually. Yeah, interesting. So, e so actually... You know, ending that, uh, you know, and getting that shutdown, Haifei actually came out better on that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Marn died, so we all came out better you on uh, <laughs> on that one. So that's good. <laughs> I, I like this theme with you. Yeah, me not. I like, I, I like the, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a very interesting theme. Yeah, I find certain things that I don't like and then just really, you know, make fun of a lot. Oh, I mean, I was getting towered or Tarek is a bad position, but here comes uh, Polish Machine. He's going to try to make something happen, but he might be getting a little overextended here as he tries to kill Nautilus, and Janna's going to be able to do a lot of damage here. And, and that's, you know, the CC uh, and the utility of Janna combined with that damage that she has right now because she has that... Um, you know, all that damage and, you know, with the life leech as well. Can do oh, some. trying to oh. get the ult here on the click. He is still exhausted. Chris can't get the bind. A little bit of damage. Auto attack. Nice. Very well done. Click getting a little bit too aggressive there on to Kratos in the mid, but very low on mana, low on health. You might want to go, go ahead, go back a little bit. You, you got enough for a nearly large draw. You might as well buy it. But no, Marn actually makes his appearance. <laughs> he goes in for the strike and we'll actually get that quick snipe. Dang it. Should have gone back. <laughs> yeah, that was a little greedy and um, and that's the thing, Martin, you know, as Fizz can just dive in, oh, and wow. oh, that was pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, but, so uh, about this AD Janna. Yeah, this AD Janna with 100 farm and 4 kills over uh, Ezreal with 0 kills and 33 farm. So, again, bottom lane just in a really bad position. And um, when you can just farm, <coughs> you know, that much better than your opponent, it doesn't really matter who you play. You know, as long as they yeah. have, you know, a decent skill set, you can kind of get in there and do whatever you want. Oh, meanwhile, Riven's getting dove under that tower. Um, and Marn yep. coming in. And not, Marn's not spending any time in lane. I mean, well, he doesn't need to. He doesn't I mean, need to. Four, one, and three with just all that aggressive play. He's actually almost nearly edging out like a 2K gold lead here yeah. onto Morgana. That is huge. And, you know, great. Farm is good. Kills are also good. But yeah. you know that's the thing. You know you have like you have your one. You have your safe bet. Then you have your risky bet. And you know, so if you can manage to get those kills to recoup, because you know kills are about twenty gold each. If you can get them, they're fantastic. Back once again, just cannot lane at this point. Janna is just pro just proving to be a little bit oh. too difficult to oh. handle. But Atomic and actually getting very low. Stun not going to be able to happen there from Black because Back is just too weak he can't stand the fights anymore yeah let's see if Cho'Gath can make something happen here come on clicky d clicky d making his way on in you can get a nice rupture here 
that dive could happen. He's very, he's, he's full health. He can go ahead and do it if he really wants to. The time again can't see the same. He will actually go ahead and back. But here comes Kratos. Here comes the Morgana. If the dive happens, here comes oh, the nice bind. Where is the ult? Nicely oh. timed Monsoon coming in from Echo, keeping Kratos away, and negating the ult entirely. Very well done to wait on that. That was really good. And man, what quick reaction time out of Janet too. But here comes Fizz going to try to do a little Marin. bit of cleanup work because that's what Marin does. He's he's a bottom feeder, and uh, <laughs> he's going to go in and just shoot the lobster and uh, do some damage. So, yeah, shoot pushing really hard. <laughs> shoot that lobster. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, back here, back in the bottom lane, along with back in whack. Back in whack here yeah. for Garvin. That's that, one of the most tongue twistering bot lanes <laughs> I think I've ever had. Uh, they, just, they just can't stay in lane. And this is, you know, a very similar situation to what they were in uh, game number one, too, along yeah. with the rest of the team. It's just you're in a situation where it's it's one thing to be forced to your tower to farm. It's another thing to be dove repeatedly. Yeah. Repeated, re repeatedly, without really any need of assistance from your jungle or any other lane. Just them coming on down is an added bonus for Marn. So everyone can just get a little bit extra, you know, piece of that pie. But... When you're in a position like that, it's just it's it's a really bad spot to be in. It really it's a big testament to how far you've fallen behind in farm and how weak you are going on into the mid game if the rest of your team can actually go ahead and carry you on into it. Which, you know, comparison to the last game, I mean it's it's still not the best situation. It's actually a really bad situation. It's actually a 10k gold lead here for Mar. Yeah. They're still in a better spot than what they were in last game, but you know, you you look at the farm, you look at that, and you just you, you you think a little bit. Oh, Nautilus just because he's so tanky and so far ahead, he can get in there and do a lot of damage. And man, I <clears throat> this AD Janna is pretty good. Um, I I wouldn't recommend it normally. It's but a troll. It's, I a, mean, it's yeah, it's a it's, troll. I mean, build. it's kind of trollish, but at the same time, you know, it's taking advantage of the you know what's making them so much stronger. Oh, and Marv diving, getting out of there. Um, pretty good, I will say. Yeah. <laughs> and then Nautilus, is he going to make it out? Because Trundle's there. He's going to try Just to make barely. something happen. He's chased him. He's probably overcommitting a little too hard here. Let's see if Ezreal can do something to Janna. But that shield and the Nautilus grab, oh my gosh, and just blew up way too fast. And uh, But yeah, taking advantage of being able to push really hard with Janna and uh, you know the yeah. CC to escape and not a lot of help from the jungle um, with that shield and just a lot of early damage. Just a really strong advantage for Janna. Yep, he created a zero to hold it out once again. Clickety is pretty huge though. Four stacks, not doing too bad for himself. Does force the flash. He does get the bind on him in retreat though. But the more, you know, Kratos will be safe for now. But then again, yeah, it's just it's it's the whole team. Yeah. It's the whole team together. If Marn just picks a lane and just pushes just from the sheer force, just from the sheer lead that they have now, yeah, they can just muscle out and inhib. Yeah, it's a really, really strong advantage, and I'm trying to look at the level here. Uh, we, we have a level 11 Janna to level 8 um, Ezreal. Ezreal. So, I mean, of course, like we said last game, the, the level advantage is so significant. Um, it just yeah. gives you so much more, you know, uh, sustainability and resist and, you know, all those things. He's going to be doing really well. Oh, and here we go, just under the towers, doing whatever they want. Here comes Nautilus. Just Cho'Gath doing some damage too, and oh, just getting uh, burned down so fast. Ezreal's trying to do something, but they're just a little bit too weak. And, uh, you know, it's 2 1 3 in the situation. Cho'Gath finally goes down. Nalus is probably going to go down too, but not if uh, Wukong has anything to do with it. So Mega Zero is trying to get in to do some here damage. Here comes Echo, though. You do, have, you do have the Taric, you do have the Trundle, but the, now that Echo's here, things are just going to be going down very, oh. very quickly. Mega Zero is going to fin be finishing up onto that one. Because you look at the gold, it's the huge, the biggest chunk of it, the biggest part of it is on Echo, which is a huge testament as to how oh. well Botley performed. Hive, nice flash coming from Echo. Will Hive be able to win that duel? Unfortunately not. You got that Janus shield out in the Mega Zero. Down in the Mega Zero. Helped save the day. Yeah, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. they're just really far in the lead, and that shield is only just kind of, you know, twisting the knife, basically. Bit, yeah. Uh, well, that yeah. It's really good. And Janna, I mean, surprisingly, 7-0, um, just really, really strong. Got that Infinity Edge and the Zeal just hanging in there. And you can't really do anything to her because you can't be aggressive because she can CC, so she can kind of split push, too. And then uh, yeah. you can't take her one-on-one -on -one or maybe even one-on-two. Oh, and then Fizz just burning down Kratos really, really fast. And Polish Machine trying to get in there to do some damage. Nautilus is going to have to retreat, but I don't know. He has so much life. Uh, oh, <laughs> here comes Echo, though, right on the back, getting back 
in the back. <laughs> and then you have the rest of uh, Last Stand here. They're going to get trapped. They're going to get pinched here onto the side brush over here by the Wraiths. And it's just going to be a bad day for the fin for the rest of that engage. As four for free here for Team Marn. They should be able to push down this uh, mid-tier two if they really want to, and they probably will just continue on with the push into the tier three and for the inhib. But, uh, you know, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, they're getting yeah. to do whatever they want. They they're can, they too, really can. They're just too big and too tanky. and It's a 15k lead. 15k lead this early on. Oh, and here goes Wukong just dancing around. Here goes Wukong around. with those dances. It's like, well, you think I'm going to go after the one not tanky person. So I'm going to go after Janna, and then she throws her shield yep. up, and then you're really upset. So Morgana getting bursted down pretty kick quick. You have nowhere to go, Morgana. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and in situations like this, it's just like, you know, you cannot defend objectives this far in just on yourself. Yeah. You need the rest of your team. You need to force the team fight. You need to try to take advantages wherever you can. But uh, right now, the lead is just too far ahead. Yeah, I mean, too, you got too much CC. You got too much damage. It is just uh, a, a, a just a cluster, a cluster of pain here coming from Team Arn. That's a nice but that way That is the it. twenty minute mark. Oh, and this there we time. go. So there we go. Game number two in the series going to be going over to Team Marn. So let's take let's just take a quick look at that scoreboard because I, I, it's going to. It, it's it's like you know, Doctor Fizz. It's gonna hurt a little bit. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Um, I'm a little upset because Marn, uh, Team Marn won over my my good friends last stand of Jarvan, and uh, Marn was actually rather successful in his play. So, well, if if you want to hang your hat on something, he didn't get the most farm on this team. How about <laughs> yeah, that? Thank Wait, you. Are, are you happy now? Uh, are are you happy really. now, Mr. Nick Allen? I'm not really all that happy about it, but uh, <laughs> you know, it helps a little bit. Yeah, cuts the sting a little, a little. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but, but uh, yeah, I mean, but, but a lot of, I mean, a lot of teams, a lot of teams really gave a lot of crap to Team Marn following MLG, and you know, it's like, but have we seen as we've seen here, the mechanics are there, the skills are there. They, you know, they're capable of making a lot of plays, yeah. and winning out, and just they, they can they can farm like the best of them. They really can. Yeah, they can. They uh, they farm well. They, I mean, they just knew how to take an advantage and like really hold on to it in those games. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there it was a quick, really quick two zero. But uh, I'm glad last stand of Jarvan was playing in our tournaments. I hope they come back. I hope and, they continue and he, to practice and, and to work uh, hard. And in comparison to the last time we had them here with us on stream, you know, they're still making great improvements. Mm -hmm. That level one fight game one was still an uh, effing amazing. Yeah, that was really to good. Me. That was yeah. really good. Love that. Yeah. Just you know, you just the standard stuff. You work on the farm. You work on the mechanics. You stick together as a team when you roam. I'm looking at you, bot lane. Yeah. We'll see. We may see. We may see. And a lot. I a, hope so. And a lot of the members of the team, though, they haven't uh, really delved too deep into solo queue. I'd like to see that a little bit more too. I mean, I've, you know, we're 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 both doing it. Not both, well. Well, not well. <laughs> well, I'm not doing it well. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I I hope to see. Um, Last time Jarvin, you know, improving, of course, yeah. and you know they're really nice guys, and uh, you're great, you're great guys, you're fantastic guys. I, please, yeah, yeah, please, please come back. And of course, this is the first day of the IPL Challengers, it so is. EU in the morning. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow mm -hmm. we have uh, Game Hoppers EU mm -hmm. versus Gr Greek Commandos. So Greek Ooh. Commandos has been haven't seen uh, them in a some, while. Yeah, we haven't seen them in a while, so they're back. And then in the evening, we're gonna have. Um, Unrestricted, who took a game off TSM tonight in the TSM Invitational, which yeah, is awesome. And then one other that. team, I forgot who they're playing, but Unrestricted uh, looks pretty promising. They got some new management. I don't mind telling you that the manager for Nick Allen is handsome, is now the manager for Unrestricted. So, so you're, you're managing them now. Yeah. <laughs> they're a pretty handsome team, I will say. But no, I'm not managing them. So, <laughs> uh, But so, yeah, they're, they're looking really strong, and uh, I'm excited to see them play tomorrow night. Yeah. So, hey, do come back for us in you. Check out the challengers once again tomorrow. Once again, another reminder: IPL face-off, San Francisco showdown. Yeah. This weekend, got a bunch of great teams for you. Two Asian teams coming on in as well. If you're in the area, if you haven't bought your tickets yet, what are you doing? Yeah. What have you been doing this Seriously, entire what, time? Seriously, what's your problem? IGN.com/IPL. You can go ahead and buy your tickets there. Get all the info about the streams there as well. And 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 remember the news section. Scroll on down. I've been mentioning this for the past two weeks. If you haven't done it now, you know, I you'll well never just, do it. Yeah, I'll just remind you once again. I assure you, the link is there. You were giving away five fifty-dollar RP cards. He's got to hit a whole bunch of buttons, and you'll be entered to win that. Please do it if you have not done so already. 
Check out IPL Face Off this weekend, of course, like he said. But follow me on Twitter at Nick Allen IGN. Yes. I will be at the event. I will be doing interviews with players. So I'll be tweeting a lot about what's going on, mm -hmm. some of the backstage stuff, and I'll be uh, asking players what you know the questions that you that you have for them. So make yes. sure you tweet at me, and uh, so I'll know what to ask them if you guys are you know thinking about something to ask. So check that out and. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a really good event. And not to mention, you'll also be distributing out high fives. High fives. Handshakes. Um, handshakes and hugs. And hugs. For and, the for the tall people. And oranges. And oranges. Oh, yeah, we're giving away those awesome gangplank oranges. So. And drugs. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, a little bit. Just a little no, bit of drugs. No, 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 <laughs> no. We're not, we're not like that. No. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you again tomorrow for more challengers and this weekend for face off. And until then, hey, we will see you guys next time. See you guys.